Hello everybody, this is Lukagen. Thank you for joining me. Let's uh, start. This is quite a long cutscene, so I am going to be talking through some of it. Um, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I would probably have to say the second favorite game that I have of all time. Now, without giving away too much in the beginning, this game is extremely beautiful. Um, it is very melancholy. It is very lonely. And it is very exciting and adventurous. This game is also incredibly realistic in nearly every way. This LP is going to be incredibly different from Chrono Cross or any of the other LPs that I have done previously, um, because this game, I feel, is very unique, and if you asked me, I don't think I could even compare this to any other game that I've ever played. So I will be LPing this completely differently. Um, This game doesn't really lend itself to many jokes <laughs> or silliness, but I will try. It's just very hard to explain this game or, or um, you know, sum it up in a few words. I do apologize for the little bit of slowdown here. This always happens for some reason, and I'm not quite sure why. I just think it's too many... too many graphics. For a PlayStation 2 game, I mean, this is not lacking in any graphics, even now that we have had the Xbox and the PS3 out for so long. You don't really miss anything. Not much. It's just a very good, ambient, beautiful game with some slowdown on this intro movie. I am so sorry about that. They usually don't walk this slow. I recorded this over and over and over, and I still have the slowdown here. I'm not sure why. See if we can't speed it up here. So we've been following this young rider and his black horse through quite a bit of terrain. We seem to have come to a bridge now. This game does not skimp on visual effects or, or angles that are just incredibly in-depth, much to the dismay of my processor. <laughs> we should make it. I was saying everything in this game is incredibly realistic, which we will see very soon. Ambience, environment, movements, game mechanics, and here we are. Shadow of the Colossus. Let us start. 
Now it looks like our little rider here continues. We don't know anything about him or where he's going. The way they fashion this game really leaves almost everything up to the player or the viewer. I think that when you have a game that has certain things already mapped out for you, either like a lot of dialogue or a lot of expressions and actions from the protagonist you're pretty much bound to the expressions that the protagonist is feeling because they're right there in front of you in this game I feel that it actually gives you a chance to go through this as you were experiencing it and you'll see what I mean when we start This is an extremely beautiful environment that we're going to be going through. And for the first time, we'll see that he's not alone. First time we see our protagonist's face. Was that place oh, began from the resonance of intersecting points. They are memories replaced by ends and not and etched into stone. Blood, young sprouts. Sky, and the one with the ability to control beings created from light. In that world, it is said that if one should wish it, one can bring back the souls of the dead. But to trespass on that land is strictly forbidden. An old story, an old tale, that actually explains. So far that is the only explanation we have. See that our protagonist is not without fight.
When we come back, we will start this wonderful game. <laughs> 